Like any young woman, Aziza Kano has an excited look on her face as she sits behind the wheel of a car for the first time. My mom has always told me I'd be able to drive someday, so I've always hoped. That pledge isn't easy for Kano. She's totally blind. People have always told blind people that, you know, don't worry about it. You're not going to be able to drive. You, you, it, it's just something that's impossible. Students from the Colorado Center for the Blind are spending the day at Master Drive, a driver education center south of Denver. Get ready to feel the weight shift. When we're teaching them the feel of the gas and brakes, we'll leave the car in park first and we'll just have them depress the gas pedal, depress the, the brake pedal, just so they get a feel of its sensitivity. I'm used to being in control of my own body. I am aware of how much I, space I take up and my cane takes up. Um, the car is a lot bigger than I am, so it's a little more to think about. On a closed course, the students navigate cones and try a skid on wet pavement. That was your first skid. You did a great <laughs> job. That was to be able to feel the changes of the car and the movements of the car and understand what it's doing because I'm making it, you know, turning the car, actually making it turn and then feeling the response and putting the two actions together was what was really different. Once you are able to have that feeling where, you know, I can drive a car without vision, I feel the car, I sense the car, it really gives you that belief that you can do anything in life. It's definitely exciting, it's definitely, uh, I'm definitely uh, willing to do something like this again. A lesson on driving and about being driven in life. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.